so I, I said, you know what? Bump them thumbnails. I'm going to have my assistant on my door because it's too much. It's too much. I need to get back to work. I need to get back to my money-making task. So, that's it, y'all. <laughs> so, guys, this is where I am going to work for probably about... It's 9.30. Probably about a good two, three hours. Um, <clears throat> they're about to come clean my room, but I gotta work. I'm not gonna go to the business center because it's just too noisy down there. So this is my little setup. If you don't know, I am working out of my Posh planner. This is my productivity planner, and this is my own planner, and it's designed specifically for me. I like planners that are super simple, um, don't have a lot of dates. Uh, that way I'm not wasting a lot of paper, but as you guys can see, I've been doing quite a bit of work yesterday, mapping out my content, all that other stuff. So now I'm going to work on my emails and plan out my week for next week because I know it's going to be busy for when I go back home. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Come in! Alright guys, so it's been one hour, right? And one thing I say all the time is I get super freaking sidetracked. Um, I sat here, I worked. One thing I can say I did do was I mapped out my entire next week of what I have thus far. Like, one thing about this planner, guys, that I love, I had to create my own planner because every time I go buy a planner, every time I go buy a planner, for one, they're dated, right? Or they come with all these stickers and they just come with too much stuff. So I ended up throwing, I ended up throwing them away all the time because once the dates pass, you can't really use them or I'll end up using it just for scribble scrap and it's just totally not organized. Then it come with all the stickers because it's cute, but I ain't got time for that. I really don't. So what, last year I had this planner guy. Well, it wasn't even last year. I had this planner for maybe about two years. I'm gonna show you guys once I make it back home to the States. And it was an undated planner and it was just so, it kept me really productive. I was able to write my things down write my things I need to do next week. It was a couple of spots I noticed that I did need it, like a note section that it didn't have, which is why I was like, when I get my planner, when I make mine, I'm gonna put it in there, right? So with my planner, guys, of course, everything with me is posh, black, white, and pink. So I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to put too much thought into it because I just wanted to, I wanted to create it, right? I wanted to get a prototype. Y'all got still excuse how I'm talking. Y'all know where I'm at. But for those of you that don't, I'm in Turkey, still getting my dental work done. But I wanted to keep it super simple because I needed a prototype so I could see just how productive it was. And now that I have it physically, I've been using it. I only had it about a week. No, probably about two weeks. I've been using it, but I'm noticing what I need to add and what I can possibly take away that I'm not using. But what I love about it is, like I said, it's super simple. It's a spiral bound, right? Um, it's double-sided. You know, you can write your name right there, blah, blah, blah. Then, of course, this is a published book. This is an ISBN, meaning it's a published book, right? Then there's a lovely note from the author. That's me, y'all, in case y'all don't know that. Yep, that's your girl. Mm -hmm. She cute. Um, just thanking you guys for purchasing it, blah, blah, blah. Just telling you the purpose of this is to help you stay productive, how it helps me stay productive. And it kind of goes right in. So I, I noticed one thing I don't want to start it off with is going right into the planner. Um, but I don't want to waste no pages, right? So the whole purpose is first I wanted your I need two pages of notes. This is like for me where I just get all my thoughts down, right? I normally keep this bit this book with me no matter where I go. And if it's a thought, if it's something somebody tell me, I put it in here. Then I'll put it on the notes page. If you can see, I put it on the notes page, right? Then when I'm starting to prepare my next week, I start taking these notes or whatever it is I need to do. And I'll start mapping them out. Now on this page is just your weeks, your Monday through Friday. Now I have a couple of businesses, right? So I don't like my planner to be seven days because that's forcing me to not plan nothing on the weekends. And if I do want to do something on the weekends, it's normally family time or like a household project, right? So I don't put anything. I just keep Monday through Friday. That way I can have my appointments that well whatever I got to do every day and I don't keep a bunch of space which is why I put I put actual let me show you I put actual lines there 
and boxes because if I overwhelm like Monday with too much space, I'm gonna fill it up with a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not gonna get everything done and I'm gonna be overwhelmed, right? So I normally put three to four things and they like my main things that I gotta get done that day. Then on this side, this is my to-do list. This is just pretty much everything I gotta do for the week, right? It starts off with my top three priorities. They are my big, big things that I gotta get done. That's like major stuff. Then down here would be my to-dos. Like this is pretty much things I pulled off of my notes section. Like things I gotta do this week. Um, and as I pull it off of my notes section, I will scratch it out, right? And I scratch it out meaning it's already where it needs to be. Um, and as I do them, I go ahead and check them, right? Then these are my appointments. If I have any appointments with clients, if I have any appointments with projects, uh, team members, whatever it is. And this is my shopping list because I do have several businesses. It's not just a shopping list for business. It's, it's just a shopping list. Things that I could be thinking about something or I could be on the computer like right now as I'm writing through my book, I notice I need a highlighter, but I need a highlighter that is, you know, double-sided with a pen. So I wrote that on my, um, I didn't write it on this week, but I wrote it on my shopping list for the upcoming week. This shopping list, I just wrote down some fabric I need for upcoming draping class I got coming. Then needs is the area for my weekend projects. I keep it super small. I don't want to overwhelm my weekends because that's the time, like I said, I either spend it with my family or I'll work on a household project, right? I normally don't do any work on the weekend unless it's writing content. That is it. And guys, the thing about that I love about this planner it's super simple and it's functional, right? Again, like I said, I, put, I take my notes, right? This would be where I just kind of brainstorm, get everything down, people I'm talking to, I write down everything I need to do. Then I just flip the page. That's why I say I need my note section to be first and not the week, the week thing. Then I just flip the page and I start plugging it in where it needs to go. But guys, guess what? I can even go ahead like if I look on my note section for like this the stuff I just wrote and I start crossing out the things I plugged in for next week anything that I know I'm not going to do I'll just move it over onto the next page right and then I'll it'll let me cross up so it'll let me cross everything out on this page so my goal is that before I keep going forward cross out the pages that way I know okay this is either got done or is scheduled for the future right for me, this is just super simple. And if I skip a week, y'all, or something like that, like I normally do, cause you know, you could just have a bad week. Like this week, I want, I'm not supposed to be in Turkey this week. I got um, pushed back a whole week cause they messed up, but that's a whole nother story. But again, see how I'm, I'm working uh, in the future. This is stuff I know I'm gonna be working on, not next week, but the following week. Um, But it's to say, even though I'm writing this into the following week, guys, if I skip a week, there's no date here. I just plug in the right next week to-do list. Like that for me works. It just works wonders. I don't know about you guys. Um, tell me in the comments, like how your plan is, like what makes planners successful for you? Me, I need simplicity. I need functionality. I need to be able to look and see check boxes or really highlighters. Normally if I have something that's highlighted to me and it's like a, the whole page highlighted, I feel super productive. Super 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 so i want to know from you guys like what planners are you guys using i don't do the walmart planners anymore i used to but like i said even the ones that's undated just the, the way that they're set up it's just too overwhelming and i end up not doing anything i've even bought the expensive planners from the marketing gurus and it's just too overwhelming it's too much stuff in there so it's like i end up not doing nothing so this for me works, y'all. So if y'all interested in the posh planner, guess what? I don't know when I'm gonna shoot this, when I'm gonna air this video, but as of right now, it's completely done. But I said I'm gonna revamp it. I, 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 it's some different things I want to revamp um, to make it a little more functional. But another thing is, guys, like after every month, every four weeks or whatever, there's a quote. It's a quote to kind of keep you, I don't know, kind of keep you on your grind, right? Because you know, y'all know we'll fall off real fast. We'll fall off real fast. So, that's all I got, y'all. Um, I got to get back to work. But my main thing was just telling you, I was here working. I was doing like this. And, y'all, my neck, and my, it was getting uncomfortable. So, I found this really cool. Um, I'm going to put this. Actually, I'm going to leave the link down in the description for you guys. I found my really cool um, thing. My little uh, riser, I guess, for my laptop. 
and it just feels so much better now and i feel like bam i could go back to it so i'm gonna jump back into it and now i kind of gotta refresh regroup i'm gonna go get some water because i ain't getting nothing done i said we're gonna get done once i got to this computer i started working on my new youtube channel because i like was categorizing the videos that i was recording and uploading some shorts so i could get subscribers to the channel and i completely got sucked in y'all i'm like okay since i don't have that many videos right now i think right now we have even though they're not published it's still about, about a good 20 videos on my new youtube channel so i said okay well let me just go in and do my thumbnails y'all i get in canva and get sidetracked so i, I said you know what bump them thumbnails i'm gonna have my assistant somebody do it because it's too much it's too much i need to get back to work i need to get back to my money making tasks so that's it y'all that's all i got i'm going back in